I'm going to demonstrate the difference between balanced and unbalanced cables and I'm going to show you a demonstration in Ableton that shows you exactly what balanced cables are doing under the hood. So to start off, here are some unbalanced cables, some RCA and TS cables as opposed to TRS if this had three sections. These cables have two connection points. One is for the audio and the other is for the ground. That's why RCA needs two, one for the audio and for the ground for the left and the other one for the right channel. Now these are balanced cables. We have an XLR over here and a TRS quarter inch cable. So why do these have three instead of two connections? One is for the ground, two is for the audio signal, and three is for a polarity flip of the audio signal. Sometimes cables like to pick up hum or noise along the way. So the theory behind it is that if you send the signal and a polarity reverse of the signal, and then reverse the polarity again at the very end, any noise or radio signal that the cable picked up along the way will be canceled out. So let me give you a demonstration using Ableton. Here I have a sound that I recorded. Okay, so that's pin 2 positive. So pin 3 is the negative. And here I have the phase left and phase right, which just flip the polarity of the left and right. And if you listen to this by itself, it sounds exactly the same. But because the polarity is flipped on one when you play them together, you get silence. If I lower the volume of one of them, you start to hear it again. So that's essentially what pin 2 and pin 3 are doing on XLR and TRS cables. So then let's add some nasty noise to the mix. Yeah, white noise. So when noise is added to the cable, the same noise is being added to both pin 2 and 3. So we're going to add this noise, the same exact noise, to both pin 2 and 3. So let's bounce this down real quick. I'm going to call it positive desktop and now unmute this and then mix this down. So this was the negative and this was the positive. So let's listen to pin 2 again and then pin 3 they both sound the same, except this one was uh, polarity reversed. So now I'm going to flip the polarity again. It's already on. So when I play these two at the same time, the noise should cancel out. So the end result is a louder signal than the original and no noise. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I hope this helped clear some things up, and thanks for watching.